In the metallic worlds, gold is given to the lost queens and kings. Their spirits will rise to a different place which no one knows. Gold is a metallic that can be bent but not broken. The gold will provide a good future for the metallic world that is to come. But what is to come? <laughs> Thank you for watching today's video. This is the second challenge video for the Dutch MIX Face Wars and let's hope that with this video I will make it into the top 5. For this challenge I created a metallic world theme of a queen that died and went into the metallic world. For foundation I'm going to be using the MYX Cosmetic Soda Control Drop Foundation in the shade Light and I'm applying about 4 drops to my cheek. I want a full coverage look so that I will have a flawless base for the rest of the makeup. And I'm just working in the product with a dampened makeup sponge. If you're still alive as a queen, you can't be looking dead of course, so therefore I'm taking my favorite high coverage concealer and I'm applying a thick layer of this underneath my eyes to waken up the eyes. And I'm also covering up some mild acne patches which are still showing through the foundation. And to work in the product, I'm once again using a dampened makeup sponge. And to make sure that the concealer stays in place and doesn't crease up, I'm baking underneath the eyes. And to set the rest of my face, I'm dusting on a small amount of translucent powder. Recently I've been struggling with my foundation moving on the sides of my nose, so I'm also baking here. Next up I'm taking the NYX Cosmetics Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. Using the lighter shade and a NYX Cosmetics number 02 brush, I'm applying this all over the face. I'm using this to set it and once again provide some more coverage. And don't forget to wipe away the bake. Next up I'm taking this Sculpt Contouring shade from the NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette and I'm using this to snatch the cheeks. Remember that this is not a dragalicious contour which I'm applying. I always find it easier to start off soft with my contour and build up the intensity. And I'm also applying the contour on my cheeks a bit higher for a more sculpted look. And don't forget to carve out the rest of your face. So I'm also applying some to my chin and to my forehead. Next up I'm taking the NYX Cosmetics number 12 brush to contour my nose. For this I'm using the Sculpt Contour shade to narrow the width of my nose. And to blend in the contour of our nose with the rest of our face, I'm once again taking the NYX number 2 brush and with the leftover product I'm blending in the contour. Next up I'm taking the NYX Cosmetics eyebrow gel in the color brunette and I am going to be creating a softer brow. To do this I am lowering the arch of my brow and I'm rounding off the top. This will give the illusion of a softer and a more friendlier face. Because you can't be looking mad when you're still a queen. To make the blending of the eyebrow easier I'm applying a small amount of eyebrow powder throughout my eyebrows. Here you can clearly see what I meant with rounding off the top of my eyebrows. Now I am setting my eyebrows and I'm combing the hairs upwards. This will give the illusion of some more texture within the gel like eyebrows. And to get some snatched eyebrows, I'm taking some concealer onto a flat definer brush and I'm using this to carve out the under part of my eyebrow. And please don't forget to blend this out. I am lightly setting the concealer with some translucent powder and then we are done with our base. Next up I'm taking the NYX Cosmetics number 16 brush and I'm applying the Sculpt Contouring shade to my crease. I really like defining my crease with the contour color because this will automatically give an illusion of a natural shadow opposed to it being an eye shadow. I was once again working very carefully with the pigment. I took some onto my brush, applied it into the crease and then dragged it further from there on. Don't go into the pen and then directly onto the most outer points. Set it into the crease and work it outwards. 
Taking the darkest shade from the NYX highlight and contour pro palette, I'm applying this on the outer parts of my eye and the most inner parts. This will create a type of halo effect and will be filling in the negative space later. And I am blending it all together with the NYX number 16 brush. To really darken up the look, I am taking my favorite brown eyeshadow and I'm applying this over the brown which we just laid down. This brown has some more red undertones which will really bring out the blues in my eyes. And now it's time to shine baby! Taking the NYX Love You So Mochi eyeshadow palette, I'm taking this golden color which is absolutely stunning. I am taking it onto my finger at first but my nails were too long so I had to switch over to a brush and I'm applying this in the negative space on my eyelids. But working with a brush really worked the best for me. Next up I'm taking the NYX Cosmetics Born to Glow highlighting palette. I'm using the lightest shade and the more golden tone shade and I'm wetting my brush with some NYX Dewy Finishing Spray. Wetting the brush will really bring out the intensity of these highlighters to create a more metallic look. Taking the NYX Dewy Finishing Spray and wetting a little pencil brush, I'm going in with some highlighter on the parts of my face which I want highlighted. So I'm applying a whole lot to the inner corners of my eyes to really open up and brighten up the look and it looks amazing. <laughs> I also applied some of this to the center of my eye to create some more dimension and of course I couldn't get the nose so I applied some to the tip of my nose and the bridge. And also a small amount underneath the brows to lift it. And now it's time to go crazy with the highlighter. So I'm applying a bunch onto the forehead to lift the brows again and I'm also applying it to the cheekbones. I didn't wet my brush yet but I'm doing this now and this will intensify some of the higher points and it will lay down really really good on the powder base which we just had. And don't be shy with the highlighter because it's a metallic world. Next up for mascara, I'm taking the NYX Worth the Hype mascara and I'm applying two coats of this to my top lashes and one coat to my bottom lashes. To intensify the metallicness of this look even more, I'm taking a golden NYX Cosmetics metallic eyeliner and I'm running this along the waterline. Before applying lipstick, I'm taking the hashtag This Is Everything Lip Loving Balm from NYX and apply this to my lips to prep them. For lips, I'm taking the NYX Liquid Suede in Brooklyn Throne. I'm first lining my lips and then I'm filling it in with the cream lipstick. Wait until this has dried down and then we're going to be applying the highlighter which we also applied on our face onto the lips. This will create an automatic metallic lip. The lip wasn't looking too golden, so I took this copper shade from the Born to Go palette and I applied this over the lip. Now it's time to fix up our hair and I'm just putting it down flat. I was inspired by Rihanna actually for this and next step is to highlight our entire body. So I'm first again laying down a powdery layer and then I'm spraying on the dewy finishing spray and I'm applying more highlighter over this for a really really metallic look. To finish it off, I'm applying some NYX Wicked Lashes in the style Vixen. And to get some really cute pictures, I'm applying the highlighter to my fingers as well. And that is it you guys, this is the first look for the second challenge of the Dutch NYX Face Awards. This is the look of when the queen was still alive and glowing. Of course we already had the metallicness to worship the ones that has already passed but now we're on to the next look which is a badass look which will protect us in the afterlife. So first up I removed the eyelashes which we just applied, these are too sweet for the afterlife. And we also definitely need to intensify these eyeshadows. So I'm going back in with my favorite brown eyeshadow to intensify the outer parts and inner parts of the brown eyeshadow. And we also need a lot more of metallic shine because this will help us in the afterlife. So I'm going back in with the Born to Glow palette and a wet brush. Next up I took this NYX black metallic eyeliner and I made a smudgy eyeliner look with this. And you can really see how much of a change this black eyeliner made. I'm also running that same black metallic eyeliner over my waterline. And I'm smudging this out with a flat definer brush. 
and of course some more inner corner glow. Next up taking the NYX Cosmetics Lovely Somochi eyeshadow palette. I'm taking this black silver shimmering eyeshadow which I'm using to intensify the black liner on our eyelid. I'm using a very nice soft brush which will make a very soft transition into the rest of the eyeshadow colors. It's time to apply some new lashes so for this look I went for some more intense and fuller looking lashes. Using the NYX Cosmetics Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, I'm using this to sketch out where I want my mouthpiece to be. So I started off with a straight line down the bridge of my nose and some next to the sides of my nose so that I can create symmetry between both sides. Using the NYX Cosmetics Be Calm Makeup Remover Wipes, I'm removing the makeup that is underneath the white line. Because I'm using some face glue, I don't really need any foundation underneath it anymore, so I just removed it for the sake of it. For the mouthpiece I used about 300 of these gold metallic push pins. They were actually with a white cap and I removed 300 of these white caps on these babies. It was a lot of work as well as putting them on my face so I need you guys to vote for me because this was a whole lot of work. <laughs> But as for applying these push pins, I laid down a layer of skin glue every time I applied a new row of push pins. Make sure you work fast and wait for the glue to become tacky because else you will have a hard time. And as for the push pins on my lips, I laid these down with a layer of eyelash glue opposed to skin glue. Using the NYX Cosmetics Dewy Finishing Spray, I'm spraying my face with this to apply some more highlighter. With the dewiness of my face, the highlighter will look more intensified to create a more metallic glow that will really be appreciated in the afterlife. And this is the second look you guys for the second challenge of the NYX Face Awards. This is how I'll be laying down in my coffin ready to be sent into the afterlife. So this you guys was my entry video for the second challenge of the Dutch NYX Face Awards. If you guys like this tutorial think that I should be in the top 5, um, please don't forget to vote for me. It will be a huge help. Voting starts at the 16th of May and it ends at the 23rd of May. I will have all of the information down in the description once again for you guys. And don't forget to put a reminder in your phone so that you don't forget to vote every single day. And with all that being said, thank you so much for watching today's videos and I hopefully will see you in the top 5 finalist video. I don't know, hopefully. Bye-bye. <laughs>